And with that, the first moments of qualification match number eight are underway. Again, three of the robots on the field have already played. Three of them have not. So after this, we will have some pretty well-ranked teams with everybody having at least one match under their belt in this tournament. Starting out after our first 15 seconds, our autonomous period with double value power cells, the Blue Alliance does have a bit of a lead. Now all six robots are racing back to their loading zone to pick up some power cells. It looked like the first one to make a launch afterwards might be for the Blue Alliance. That's Ryan and Tian Tony, but they are facing defense from Aleem in red. Now this is the first time we've seen Aleem on the field, and it looks like they might be focusing on being a strong defensive team member for the Red Alliance. Although what we do need to keep in mind is when we see a collision between a red robot in the red sector playing defense against a Blue Alliance scoring robot, you will see a small bumper appear around the robot. We do need to have teams being careful as they are playing defense. We don't have true fouls like you would in an infinite recharge match, but what we do have is a five second countdown timer after which a defending robot will be reset and appear back on the initiation line for their alliance. We see that happen to Natick just now in red. They were in a collision with TN Tony and Andrew F of the blue alliance. And even though they were in a tough position, they have to be careful if they are choosing to play defensively. And as a result, they were placed back on their starting position for red after a five Five second collision. One minute remaining in the match, the Blue Alliance does have a lead, 206 to 186. Red trying to come back. We do see all three Red Robots coming off of a scoring cycle. Wes and Aleem going back toward the Red Alliance loading station. Tons of power cells on the playing field floor. Aleem has one so far. It looks like they are going to fill up their robot as quickly as possible, though, before ferrying it back to the Red Alliance power port. Three seconds until the end game portion of the match begins. Still a blue alliance lead so far. No robots making a move on the rendezvous point at the moment. It looks like the first one there might be Ryan for the blue alliance. They extend their lifting mechanism upward. Their two alliance partners are going to clinch that ranking point for the blue alliance before working on their end game strategy. Red is trying to do the same. Red also clinching that ranking point now. No matter the outcome of this match, both alliances going home with at least one ranking point to assist them. Three seconds remaining in the match and as the match concludes the blue alliance appears to have all three robots in the air and it looks like at the final moments red might have been able to pull off the same final results for the end of our first cycle of matches now coming up a blue alliance victory 383 to 325 in that match both alliances did score more than 90 power cells so they will earn an additional ranking point and the blue alliance at the end of the match had 75 Five points for their end game because that is more than 60 they will also earn an additional ranking point for having their shield generator operational at the conclusion of the match thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.